OpenAI released this awesome feature yesterday in ChatGPT, the ability to call multiple GPTs from the store or your personal ones all within one context window. Now, I did a video on this yesterday. Today's video is a cut down version, just showing you step by step how to use it. So we're in a brand new ChatGPT window and if I type in the at symbol, we'll have access to a bunch of GPTs that you've either used or created. Many of these I've created. So if we look at FTube teaser, this turns a YouTube video into a Facebook teaser post. Got the same thing for tweets. I can make YouTube intros and recently I did seven GPTs specifically for YouTube content creators. You can check that out in the link. Let's talk briefly about why app mention is so important. And the inclusion by OpenAI of custom instructions, sometimes called a system prompt, to be a really powerful feature. It allowed me to start new chat windows that had rules that it would follow. Maybe it'd be some commands that it re would respond to, or maybe it would be the style in which it responded. But the problem with this system was that whenever you wanted to create a new chat window, you would need to clear out the custom instruction and create a new one. Next, OpenAI added in GPTs. Now GPTs, similar to custom instructions, allow you to create rules and the way ChatGPT would respond. But where it's different is that now you can have multiple GPTs and you can start a new chat window based off a particular GPT. It's a good enhancement, but it still has one big problem, and that's that it can't talk to other GPTs. Yesterday, a new capability was added into ChatGPT, and that was the ability to use the at symbol and mention various GPTs in your regular conversation. Now, they didn't speak about it. it. There was no fanfare about this, and I've come to understand that it's probably because it's not solidified as to how it's going to work in the future. But at the moment, it works really well. And what you can do now is from a regular chat window, you can then switch over to any of the GPTs in the store or any that you've created. So let's dive in and see how this fits together, and I'll show you an example of it being used. What I think I'll do is I'll just use speech to text and we'll just type a prompt right now. Everything that we've talked about above is exactly what this feature is about. What I would like you to do is take the information and run it through my Twitter creation bot and create a tweet for me. What we'll do is we'll just type at tweet tube. Talking to cheap tube is what it does and we've just got this prompt and we'll press enter and we'll see whether it does what I expect it to do. Wow this is it. It's writing tweets the way my tweet tube bot does so discover the power of customization with chat GPT plus at feature. Instantly switch between specialized GPT models for tailored responses. Perfect for content strategists, educators, tech pros, writers and polyglots that's people that work in multiple languages it's put in a bunch of hashtags usually this is a one hit wonder i'm really happy with this this is cool already i'm already sold on this feature but maybe i could create an intro for this particular video that i'm recording as i'm still talking to the tweet tube so i believe we'll just press this cross take me over to the at youtube intro gpt and Allow me to configure it so that we can create a YouTube intro for this particular video. Looks like I might have to type this in, so we'll go uh, intro, maker, press enter. It's taken me over to my bot. YouTube intro maker bot has a configuration capability. Now it talks about it here. The niche we're going for is GPT+. Plus. The topic is that there's a feature announcement called at mentions in chat GPT+. Plus. Now the framework, you can use marketing frameworks like Ada and Paz. Paz is problem agitation solution, but I like to keep things fairly simple. So I'll go with none, keep it simple. And the structure I think we want is problem solution. What's the problem? Here's the solution. And the tone, excited. I think this is an awesome feature, but keep it professional. So just press enter on that. I think we can just say create is one of the commands. I think we'll copy from here all the way through fact sheet that you would want for a script on this sort of video. We'll move down to the bottom and we'll just say create an intro based on this concept. 
We have a starter intro script. Welcome to the future of AI customization and efficiency. Today we're unveiling an extraordinary feature in ChatGPT Plus, the at feature, a simple yet powerful tool that's changing the game. Problem highlight, have you ever found yourself wishing for a more specialized, efficient and integrated AI experience? This is my issue all the time with ChatGPT. One that understands your specific needs without having to switch contacts or explain repeatedly your wait is over. And then the solution. With the app feature in ChatGPT Plus, you now have the ability to quickly access various GPT models tailored for unique tasks and areas of expertise. What we could do is just state, this intro is really good. I love the first three paragraphs, but it's way too long at the moment. Everything goes for about one minute and 30 seconds to two minutes. I really need this to be a 30 second script. It's now writing a new script for us with a little bit of tweaking would be a good introduction to the video. Let's just switch one more context. Can you create an article for me on LinkedIn at LinkTube? And the idea of the LinkTube article generator is it's a single shot prompt. It'll get it right most times. It's designed specifically around turning YouTube videos into LinkedIn articles. I'm just going to say create and I'm going to paste this in which is basically the script from earlier. Usually when I do a create command for a LinkedIn post, I would also give it the title and the YouTube video, but we haven't created the YouTube video yet. So we can't do that. Just go create like that and see what happens now. We've got a title, which may be the title that we want to use. I would usually use my title GPT to generate this. Revolutionizing AI interactions, the app feature in chat GPT+. I think that might be good enough for the video anyway. Introduction, in the ever evolving world of artificial intelligence, we've got concepts, problems, practical use cases and conclusions. Can you add emojis and hashtags, please? Let it rewrite the article. Now with a couple of emojis, tube outro writer, and we're in it and we'll just go straight into a config. So we'll just configure it and we'll go with a style here called recap so whatever we've said in the video we want to recap it but i only want it to go for about 15 seconds and i want to have a link to a playlist i believe in this case i've done youtube automation gpts there's a bunch of them all in a playlist and that's what we should mention now the outro that you're seeing on screen right now went into yesterday's video thank you i'm happy dave and i've included a link to the gpts in the end card